Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So recently my skin has been struggling. It's been dry, textured, acne prone, and I've had to do extensive research, but I have found what I think is the perfect skincare routine to help moisturize and smooth out my irritated skin. So usually my skincare routine is just a makeup remover, face wash, moisturizer, and then an oil, but I've had to do a complete overhaul of my skincare routine and now my skincare routine is makeup remover, face wash, toner, serum, moisturizer, and then the last product is like my secret skincare product. It's like a hidden gem and I will be sharing that and everything else in my skincare routine with you guys in this video. I also want to thank High Mirror for kindly sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. So I will be getting into one of their products in a few minutes. And now without further ado, let's just jump right into my current skincare routine. To start out, I remove my makeup using the Albaline Moisturizing Cleanser. Previously, I had used Pharmacy's Green Clean. What I found as my skin became really dry and sensitive over the last couple months is that I cannot use products with fragrances in them, so I had to stop using this, but Albaline literally does the same exact thing as Pharmacy's Green Clean for a fraction of the price and is fragrance-free. It only has like five ingredients. Enough rambling. What I do to use it is I just scoop some out. This is what it looks like. It looks like Vaseline and you just rub it in just like you would do with any type of oil cleanser. So when you rub this on your face, it starts to liquefy and it helps to dissolve any makeup that you have, any dirt, oil, bacteria. The next step is to take a clean washcloth, put it under warm water, and then wipe all of the makeup off of your face. Amazing, amazing. You guys can see just how glowy my skin already looks just from using the Albaline. It's a must have if you have dry skin. Next, I use CeraVe's Hydrating Cream to Foam facial cleanser. So this cleanses and hydrates your skin and it doesn't irritate it at all. It helps to remove excess makeup, excess dirt and stuff like that. So it is going to clean your skin, but it's not a heavy duty cleanser. So it's not going to irritate it. That's why I started to use this over the fresh soy facial cleanser because it's more gentle than that face wash. And also it is fragrance free. So that's another key. As I mentioned before, I just cannot use products with fragrances in them right now. This is what the face wash looks like. It does obviously look like a cream. As you massage it onto your face, it starts to turn into like a foamy consistency. And I wash my face for 60 seconds because anything less than that, and it's just not enough time to clean my face. Now I dry my face with a clean washcloth. And then because I have eyelash extensions, I just dry them quickly with this little mini fan. So because my skin has been so dry and irritated lately, the high mirror that I mentioned at the beginning of this video has been super helpful at helping me figure out what are the best products and practices that I should be using for my skin to help smooth it out and moisturize it. The high mirror slide is a smart mirror that you can use to analyze your skin and you can also use it to analyze your skincare products. You can listen to music with it, you can watch YouTube videos, you can even check social media. But one of the most helpful features of the high mirror for me has been the skin analyzer feature. So all you do with the skin analyzer is just take a picture of your face on the actual mirror and it analyzes your skin, figuring out where your problem area Areas are so for me my problem areas are my cheeks and my forehead where it's really red and that's because that's where it has been super dry and textured and then also dark circles which makes sense because I have a newborn and I'm tired all the time it's just kind of funny how the mirror picked up on that and it's also helped me to do research and find the perfect products for my skin the high mirror also has another feature called the beauty box which analyzes skincare products and how they can be impacting your skin and they also make recommendations of skincare products that are perfect for your skin based on the skin analyzer results that you received and also based on your local weather which is really helpful for me because 
I don't know about you guys, but my skin is just really, really impacted by the weather. So in the summer and spring, it's thriving, it's glowy. And then once fall and winter come around, my skin gets super dry and cracked and irritated. Another one of my favorite things about the high mirror is the fact that you can watch YouTube videos while you're doing your skincare routine, while you're putting on your makeup on the actual mirror itself. You can even minimize the video while you're doing your makeup or your skincare and still play the audio in the background, but you can have like the whole mirror to yourself to use to get ready. The mirror also flips into landscape mode if that's how you prefer to use it. And also while you're doing your makeup, you can turn on the makeup lights and watch YouTube videos all at the same time. Not only is the high mirror slide great for your everyday personal use, it also makes an amazing gift. And from now until December, 27th you can actually get it for $20 off plus free shipping just check the link in the description of this video to get your high mirror slide now we are moving on to the next step which is a toner so this is the Ordinary's Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. Now, first of all, I used to like never use a toner and I also used to never really exfoliate, but this is great if you're having, you know, some breakouts, acne prone skin, textured skin. It helps to remove dead skin cells and everything like that and just reveal a smoother, more fresh layer of skin and it also helps with like flakiness and stuff like that and it is okay to use on an everyday basis i just have this sitting in my hand i need to put it on my face so as you guys just saw i just pour some into my hand and then i kind of like tap it together and then i pat it on my face so this is a chemical exfoliant. I do have a few other chemical exfoliants that I like to use, but this is the only one that I use on an everyday basis. And I found that chemical exfoliants, particularly this ordinary chemical exfoliant, has really helped to clear up the texture that I had on my cheeks and the breakouts that I had been getting on my jawline. The next product is one of my favorites from this entire skincare routine. And this is the Eva Naturals Skin Clearing Serum. So I discovered this while I was researching how to get rid of textured, bumpy skin. This was like one of the most recommended products. And I ordered this from Amazon. It has vitamin C, salicylic acid, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, retinol, and MSM. So basically with all those ingredients, it's gonna help to smooth out your skin, get rid of any acne, just like completely clear your skin and prevent breakouts, but it's also not gonna over dry it because of the hyaluronic acid. So I just drop some into my hand and it has a similar texture to the toner. It's like a watery texture. I love this so much. And then I just rub this on my face, patting it gently. Oh, look at that glow. You can definitely see, you can definitely see the glow. And I'm telling you guys, I did not have this like mid November. My skin was looking rough. My next step is moisturizing. In my last skincare routine, I showed you guys that I had been using a Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel moisturizer, but I actually had to stop using this and I had to switch to a different version of this moisturizer because first of all, this one is scented and also it is is not intended for super dry skin. Instead, now I'm using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Cream Gel for extra dry skin. This is, as it says, more of like a creamy texture or consistency, and then also it is fragrance free. So I just pat this on my face very gently, massaging it in. I'm gonna tell you guys my favorite step out of this entire skincare routine and what has truly helped to smooth out the dryness on my face. This is either the CeraVe Healing Ointment or the Aquaphor. And this is Baby Aquaphor. And both of these are petroleum based. This one more than this one. But basically my point is that this one is a little bit pricier than this Aquaphor, but I think they do the same thing. So just get this. I just take some on my finger and I apply this on my cheeks. So at first it is gonna look really, really kind of oily or just like greasy a little bit, but I promise it's not my skin. It's just the aquaphor and it all goes away within like an hour or so and it reveals really, really smooth and hydrated skin. So I like to just put this like 
even on the bottom of my face because it was getting super dry around here as well. I am telling you guys, if you have dry skin, you need to use this. So this has been my skincare routine. It has been how I was able to transform my skin from looking really dry, bumpy, textured, and just irritated to looking glowy and smooth again. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you wanna check out any of the skincare products, everything will be linked in the description below. Also, once again, thank you to High Mirror for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. I love all of you and I'll talk to you guys next time.